It's Friday! I'm happy it's Friday. It's raining outside. Me and Jolene having a good time inside. I'm just taking, you know, just taking it easy today. You know, we can't get outside to play on the container. So we're going to do how to channel a hot rod. And the only reason I'm doing this video is because a hot rodder stopped by this morning. And we got talking about it. I explained to him how I do it. So I thought, what the hey, I'll make a video and show how I do it. And then you will know how I do it. And then you can know how you do it. Whatever you want to do. Um, this is how I do it the easy way. On a, on a channel car means that you're taking the body and setting it down over the chassis. You're trying to make it low without the suspension. You're using uh, the body to lower it instead of the suspension. And when you do that, usually what happens is you have found a car with no floor in it and you want to put a floor in it and you're thinking, wow, I might as well put it down over the body, over the chassis a little bit to make it just a little bit lower. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So if I had a, what we'll to say, 32, because it has a nice frame rail. So that's the front and that's the back where the wheel is. We have two of them, two frame rails. There's the two frame rails. You usually have an X brace on that frame rail. Usually holds her together where the transmission bolts on, the drive shaft goes through. That usually holds it together. You got a one there, and you usually have one in the back that holds your chassis together. So as I have that chassis, now I've got a body that I want to put a floor in. I want to channel down over that chassis. This is what I do. Square tubing. Every Every foot, every foot and a half, whatever you want to do, I cut a piece of square tubing. I'll lay them on that chassis all the way along. I lay them flat on like this, I lay them all flat on there, and I bring them right off the chassis and right down. Square tubing. You can even bolt them down to the original mountains if you want to. This is the trick. When you put that square tubing on, you have to bring it, we'll say, an inch past the chassis. Remember, we are channeling. So that means the body goes down over. The chassis. So as or the frame goes, the body goes down over the chassis. As I connect it here, I'm outside of the chassis. And I connect all these square tubing all here, just like that, on the outside, on the outside. As I do that, all my all my mounts can be mounted, can be all mounted and put on there, and then that outside square tubing is connected. And you have to bend it. You can bend it, you don't have to bend metal to put it in a vice or whatever. We connect them all together. And then what we do after that is a trick. I would take probably a foot or a foot and a half of 18 gauge and I will weld it on the side. So if I have a piece of square tubing come across here and come across here, I have a piece of square tubing on the side, I will take a piece of metal like this, wire, and I will weld it to the side of this and weld along that square tubing. And that apron will go right along from here all the way up there. Exact same thing on this side. You weld another piece of metal on that side, it gets down over there. Then you start making floor pans for it. You can put X's in it, you can put lines in it, you can do whatever you want. There's a floor pan, 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 and another floor pan. As you make them floor pans and you weld the apron on the side, you will be able to take that off and put it back on. It'll fit perfectly. With the aprons on, on the side of it welded, it allows for you to take that hot rod that has no floor in it, to pick it up and set it on top of that floor, and go down as far as you want, up as far as you want. And this curtain right here is what allows you to do that. So if I want to go down six inches on my on my body, if I want to channel six inches, I would go in on my drive my driver's door post. I would measure up six inches. I'd weld a piece of angle iron on that so it comes out flat on there, weld it, and the piece comes out. And I go in there six inches on the other side. So that means I'm channeling at six inches. As I do that. When I pick that body up, that will sit down on that floor and hold that up six inches. So then what I do is I go from the underneath the door, the bottom of the sill, I weld from the bottom of the door over to this curtain. So this is the inside sill. You're setting your car down over top of it and you're welding your outside sill to the inside. Once you've got it all welded up there how you want it, you cut it off. And that's how you channel a car the easy way. To make a floor like this, you can do that in an afternoon if you want to. It's just a matter of cutting square tubing an inch wider than your frame is on both sides. Fina wants to get outside there. Anyways, that's how you channel a car. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you little beer balls. <laughs>
Uh, that's how you channel a car. Um, it's the easy way. Uh, anybody can do that. Uh, you can see everything. And channeling is mostly because someone didn't have a floor in the car and they wanted to put it back on and make a floor for it. Generally, you can paint the floor before you put the car back on because the floor fits the car. It does not have to be uh, hurt at all. It's the inside sill is what you would not paint. You would probably paint after. But a floor, you can paint before you can put the car on. And you could do that in a day. You could do that in a day. How to channel a hot rod. That's how, that's how we do it here. And uh, I hope that it helps people because the guy was in this morning, Mr. Dingle, he was, he was right on track. He knew exactly what to do. He said, he looked at me, he goes, that's easy. And I said, right on brother, I'm on your, I'm on your lane. <laughs> Anyways, it's Friday, have a good one. As, as, uh, as, you know, as we have time off, I have time to reflect on all the things that I preach and I got some backdoor yard to clean. You know what I mean? I got some backdoor yard to clean. But my backdoor yard to clean and I'm happy to do it because it'll only improve me. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Happy Friday, everybody. I gotta go clean my backdoor yard.